The general issue people face when trying to kick up two legging towards a handstand is that they forget how to propel force vertically. So they, they try to jump too heavy with their quads, with their butt, while it should just be more so a push through the toes. And if you have a sufficient push through the upper body, which you should have if you've done uh, many, many shoulder line push-ups, um, the shoulders will actually guide the majority of the movement. So the first thing that we can get used to is just starting with the hands already on the floor with as much weight pushed in towards the upper body as possible. Now, I'm not trying to catch a handstand per se yet. I'm just trying to flirt with that line of where the center of mass needs to be for me to be able to catch balance. So I'm gonna intentionally underkick because an underkick can always be saved while no one can save an overkick. So I'm gonna underkick and try hit my heels to my uh, butt and keep the knees not fully in towards the chest, but with an active flex in the hips. I'm gonna try come down lightly and then that worked fine. So I'm gonna try push it a little bit heavier, pushing through the toes, heels to butt. And I'm sort of looking for that last one there where I've not fully caught a handstand, but time is slowing down because the center of mass has come above the base of support. Again, I'm not actually trying to catch a handstand here, but if I hit that right spot, see how the, the pendulum comes up, it hovers and then drops, while if I don't go anywhere near it, there is never an element of a float because the center of mass isn't getting above the base of support enough. So once I fine tune to that realm there, I wanna try manually catch and hold in that realm of the shoulder line push up. Um, the legs only extend once I'm confident in balance and they should only extend vertically. Uh, what I mean by that is, so let's say you've caught and then you try to extend. It's hard to kind of know where they need to extend to. And that will take quite a bit of trial and error to actually understand how to make them go vertical. It's one of the things that makes the double leg kick up quite hard compared to the single leg kick up. Um, it's actually easier to find that element of float once you understand how to generate a bit of force in towards it. But what is hard is the punishing display of extending outwards. Because if you're slightly under or slightly over, it'll exacerbate your error and drag you down to the floor. So once you've found that position, it's taking the feet straight towards the ceiling. And then as you get better at it, you just try to bleed the lines a little bit uh, faster and then it looks a lot more aesthetic. So if I wanted to do a, a fully aesthetic one, I'd start with my legs straight, hands planted, on toes, light bend, and then pump straight towards the ceiling. But we're not performers. So if you get up, you'll win.